Parashat Mishpatim, first Aliyah. We know that there's a connection between Parashat Mishpatim and the one before because of the Vav. The Vav, Ve'ele Mishpatim, very unusual to begin something with a Vav. A Vav connects, it's called Vav HaChibur. Ve'ele, so famously the Chachamim tell us, Ve'ele, Vav, Musif Alinan Rishon. The Vav adds on what has previously been taught by the Torah. What was right before? The end of Parashat Yitro. Parashat Yitro ends with the Aseret Adiberot, the Ten Commandments. So Rashi tells us, Ma elu misinai, af elu misinai. Don't think the Ten Commandments are more important than the other laws. The laws that are going to be discussed in throughout Parashat Mishpatim, the great variety of laws that have to do with people, Nezikin, all the damages we do with people, social norms, etc., are as important as the laws that have been discussed in the Aseret Adiberot, the Ten Commandments, which is truly amazing and surprising. Because if you ask someone in the street randomly, tell me what is religion? What, what, what would be a law that has to do with religion? How would you codify theology? And they would tell you belief in God, you know, prayer to God, anything that has to do with, with God is theology, is something that has to do with religion. Here the Chachamim come through the Torah, of course, and teach us a revolutionary idea, which is that things between people are not only as important as the regular laws that have to do Ben Adam Lamakom between us and Hashem, is probably even more important than Ben Adam Lamakom. At least the first layer, the first level, and we'll see later uh, other Pshatim, but the first layer is that it's as important as the ones that were taught at Sinai. Ve'ele, Mosif, Alinian Rishon. It adds both were taught in Har Sinai. Everything was taught in Har Sinai. And even the laws of finding an object on the street and, 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 and giving it to, somebody, to, to the right owner and helping someone's donkey under a load, all these things were given in Sinai as much as Anuchi Hashem Elokecha, which is truly amazing. See, at the end of the parasha, we're going to see an incredible episode where the Torah tells us the narrative of Hashem commanding Moshe to anoint the people of Israel, to make them into a nation. And what do they do? He does with sprinkling blood. But there the Pasuk says, Vaikah Moshe Chatsi Adam. Moshe Rabenu took half the blood, the amount of blood. Vayasem Ba'aganot, he puts him in the basins. And then the other half, he put it on the Mizbeach. And then his Zarak is throwing the blood on the people. Rashi tells us, Michelako, who separated the amount of blood in two? He says, Malach ba vechalako. He used the help of an angel to separate this into half. Why would you need a Malach? Why would you need the help of an angel to separate a cup of blood into two cups? Who cares? You could do it yourself. You only use the Malach if you need to. The answer is unbelievable. Because a person cannot do exactly half-half. You cannot do exactly half. Only a malach could come and make it half. And why did you need to make it half? Because it's as important to put half on the Mizbeach, Ben Adam la Makom, than to put half on the people, Ben Adam la Chavero. Because of that, you needed an angel. That's to show you how important it is, the Ben Adam la Chavero laws.